The attorney general of the great state of Texas is suing Pfizer and drug manufacturer Trist Pharma for allegedly producing and selling low quality and ineffective ADHD medicines specifically to low income families. Pediatric ADHD drug Quilivant, which it reportedly has a pattern of failing routine quality control tests, was no, uh, knowingly given to underprivileged children, and despite complaints from families who told Pfizer and Tris that the drug wasn't working, Pfizer and Tris allegedly continued to hide the deficient manufacturing practices. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton joining me now. Uh, sir, ha happy Thanksgiving to you. So you said you were horrified by what your team discovered about what Pfizer and Tris had done. Tell me what horrified you the most. Okay, happy Thanksgiving, first of all. The fact that they were selling a drug to kids, to children, that potentially didn't do what they said it was gonna do, that was ineffective, that may have caused side effects. So that's, that's one of my jobs under the Texas Constitution. I have four jobs. One of them is to make sure that people are not defrauded by corporations. And if they were selling a drug to children, which is hard to believe, that wasn't effective and wasn't doing the things that they claimed it was supposed to do, that's a, that's a problem for me, and that's a problem for the state. Well, let, let me just ask you a follow-up question on that one, because, as you know, President Trump is under, a, uh, under a, a case right now where there was no victim. There was, there was no crime, there was no victim, but he's still... Were there victims that, that you were able to find, your office was able to find, in this case? Yeah, we think there are victims. That's why we filed the lawsuit. We think there may be thousands of victims all over the country and particularly in Texas. So yes, we do think there were victims of, of this potential uh, defrauding of information and, and, and information that wasn't correct to children. Yeah, you know what, in the old days, I'd never have to ask such a question, but today, with all this lawfare going on that you, I know you're very much aware of, you know, you just gotta ask these elementary questions. Uh, let's go on to uh, Elon Musk. He filed a lawsuit against Media Matters for quote, intentionally deceptive reporting, end quote. And now you've also launched a probe into Media Matters for their potential fraudulent activity. Talk to us about that. Yeah, so we learned about this actually through what through the actual lawsuit that Elon Musk filed and then the reporting of it. It looks, it looks like, we don't know yet, we're actually starting that investigation. That's what this is about, is starting the investigation to determine if Media Matters basically defrauded consumers and, and, and potentially tried to put Twitter out of business by lying to consumers and lying to advertisers on Twitter about what was actually happening and, and trying to claim that Elon Musk and Twitter was racist when actually it was Media Matters that was promoting that, that idea and that story. So let me ask you this, because a lot of folks, you know, me, uh, uh, X, uh, Twitter, uh, formerly uh, now known as X, uh, they are a, a worldwide company. They, they hit the, uh, people all around the globe. What interest is, does Texas have and what angle does Texas have to uh, start an investigation on what happened between Media Matters and X? So our interest in what is what happens in Texas, not necessarily what happens around the world. Obviously, what happens in Texas affects the world. But if you're defrauding or lying about something you're doing in Texas, then we have an obligation to find out what that is. We also oversee charities and nonprofits. And so in this case, uh, Media Matters is a nonprofit. And we have an obligation to the people of Texas to make sure that charities are not defrauding uh, consumers in any way or not lying to them or not misleading them and that they're operating under the laws of Texas. Well, there, there was a reason I asked that, Mr. Attorney General, is because uh, just because Texas is launching this, this investigation into Media Matters, uh, doesn't that follow that maybe a lot of other states with, with conservative attorneys general like you at the head interested in justice and protecting our people, that they would that they would also launch their own investigations because they would have just as much a predicate as you did? Yeah, and I don't think even any attorney general should care about this because if consumers are being lied to, every attorney general, no matter what party, should care. It shouldn't be just the conservative attorney general. It should be all attorney generals should look into this issue because it does look a little fishy as to what's actually going on. Well, you and I both know that, that the left-wing attorneys general, I know they should care, but not a lot of them do. Ken Paxton, sir, thank you very much 